What's going on, Planet Poke people? It's time to play Pokemon Conquest. I'm your host, Diogen Z, and today we're going to try and conquer the Violite or Violite, Tomato Tomato, I don't care how you pronounce Yanato, this kingdom, which is electrical type. So, as Oichi suggests, grass type are resistant to electrical types. They're not super effective. It'd be great if we had some ground types, but eh, I haven't seen any around in the kingdoms we've already claimed. So we'll just have to minimize damage and not bring any water types here. If you brought your strongest water type here thinking, oh, this is just a really, really strong member. He'll do good no matter what. Wrong. He'll be defeated in two turns. If that, he might just be taken out in one. So you're Dio Gen Z, are you? Hmm. I was wondering what you'd be like. And I have to conclude that you're no match for me and my Shinx. Ha! <laughs> What's wrong? You. You're a child. Talking like that to a warrior before you've even done battle. Fine! I'll stop talking and demonstrate my power on the battlefield instead. Yeah, she's pretty intense. Maybe it's all the supercharging static that she gets from her area. Pa! Look at our power levels. This battle should be a breeze. But beware. There is some electrical trickery to be had in this kingdom. <laughs> On your honor. Yeah, we'll see how good your honor is after you fight our army. We've got a full army. You're missing one man or woman to be at your side. Too sad, too sad. Our clan, famed through Ronse for electric type Pokemon. We built this place! It's a place in which to do battle. We did not intend it as a haven for the likes of you, Dio Gen Z. Okay, well. I hate to disrupt your hopes and wishes, but yeah, it's going to be a perfect clubhouse for my band of merry men. We will take them. No problem. So what you have to be concerned about mostly in this arena is not the shocky floor. Now I know it looks uh, pretty intimidating. Open electricity with no wires or kind of insulation nearby. Okay, energy boost. Good move on you. But, as you can see, we have electrical traps like that. The electric floor panels don't hurt you, but it does allow Ginchio's army, at least the electrical members of them, those who have electric Pokemon, to cross every tile on this floor. And it can get kind of frustrating, especially with some of the fire types that we bring here, because in every circumstance, we need at least one space back to launch a turn, to launch an attack on any of our fire Pokemon. Tepig and Charmander both have Ember, that requires a space, and Darumaka's run-up needs at least one space to run up on the opponent. But sometimes they'll get right next to you, and you'll be sandwiched in between these electrical floor panels here. So it can be rather difficult, but you have to keep strategy at the forefront of your mind. The way that those electrical shock waves work, that trap that Pichu activated, excellent, burn already, it works on a diagonal. So since we were diagonally across from Pichu when he pressed the button, that's where the shocking happened. But that's quite alright, we can also use this traps for our own trickery. But beware, make sure that none of your members, or at least very few, and if any, preferably grass types, are in the area that you're going to shock. Ah, oh, what? No! Oh, this is not a good thing. If you get too dangerously low on health, do remember Jigglypuff's warrior skill, or I should say Oichi's warrior skill, her sweet song restores all of our allies' health. 
and they don't even have to be close to Jigglypuff, which is a really, really awesome warrior skill. It's kind of like a game changer, I think. I wish I knew more about that back when I was facing... What's his face? Hideyashi. Ah. Oh well, live and learn. The greatest thing that we learned from that battle was to train one episode before entering this kingdom. And it's unfortunate that Trico is already paralyzed, but he doesn't have to move around too much. So let's focus on Shinx, because that is Ginchio's main linked Pokemon. We can eliminate him semi-first, or close to soon. <laughs> that would be beneficial. He's probably one of the strongest. And you can expect that in the Warlords area. Huh, at least we defeated him fast enough. I liked his attitude to battle. And how he said, don't misjudge my power. Because you've never even faced me before, Ginchio. You're all up in arms that this isn't a place for us to be taking as our haven, but you didn't even think for a moment, how did I take all those other kingdoms to arrive here? <laughs> you thought that was luck? No. That was skill, power, and linkage of Pokemons. Pokemans. Ah, I can't believe that two of our team is paralyzed. Three! Ah! Does this area have an increased chance of paralyzation? I would not be surprised. There is literally lightning in the air. Sometimes random bolts of lightning will come out of nowhere. And those you can't really do anything about. Ugh, I've got to get out of this area. <laughs> the electrical system is going crazy now, see? Live wires all over. Let's start to move and destroy this guy. How dare you paralyze my pig. just fight. We don't really need our defenses raised for an opponent that's done. Shahoon! Okay, so now we're narrowing it down. Trico, stay on your toes. Yes, continue to absorb. That's a great thing about bringing grass types that have the absorption move. It won't be super effective against electric types, in fact, it might be not very effective, in fact. But at least, they won't be effective against you. And if you have at least one grass type, that should take care of the pan poor. Come on, Darumaka, critical hit! No! That's all I could do, though. Because you see where Shinx is placed? There's no space. I can't run at a diagonal. There's no space for Darumaka to do run-up. That's probably the most annoying part of this map. It's just that you can't access the Pokémon in the way that your attacks can hit. As they evolve and they get more wide-range hitting moves, that won't be an issue. But there are some Pokémon that evolve and end up getting even longer-ranged attacks, meaning that they take two spaces instead of one to launch an attack. Sometimes it's good, but other times, like with Rhyperior, it's obnoxious. And you can rarely ever get off a move because you require so much space. And Rhyperior is a whole other story. You know, he is ridiculously hard to use just because not only does it take a bunch of spaces to launch his move, but then you have to wait a turn afterwards for him to recharge. That was my experience with him back in Nobunaga's Ambition. So if I get the same Warlord on my side as I did back then, I'm going to make him switch his Pokémon. Make him best link with someone else, like a Steelix. The Steelix looks awesome. And every time I want to raise a Steelix, really I do. I very greatly want to raise a Steelix, but I don't know what happens. Every time I'm in the RPG, it just never occurs to me. It's usually because the two items or the two circumstances that need to happen, whether it's finding an, a Steelix out in the wild, like you could do in the Victory Road of Platinum, 
that has to wait all the way till the end of the game where most of the experience has already been grabbed. Or in a circumstance like Crystal, where sure you get an Onyx right in Violet City just for trading with a Bellsprout, that's great, but you don't get the Metal Coat until after you beat the Elite Four. And that's so obnoxious to me. I really don't feel like walking around with an Onyx for that long. But we may do that. We may have an Onyx for some time. And that's a curious thing that I actually have to do a little bit of research on, is how do you evolve Pokemon in this game that require trades normally in the RPG? Is there an item you can give them? Is there an area, a certain kingdom that you can train them in? I've read up that to evolve Eevee into some of its forms, like Umbreon and Espeon, things of that nature, like Glaceon, you need to raise it in a certain kingdom. Have it link up with you, or level up, I guess you could say, at a certain potential. And that's when and only when you'll be able to access its other elemental forms. What Eevee form would you like to see most? I think a Dragon Eevee would be freaking sweet. But then again, speaking about Steelix, a Steel-type Eevee, a Steelion, that would be pretty badass too. Now notice how I move my Charmander away from Mareep so that either it's going to follow me and I'm going to have a better chance to get a shot at it because Ember can't affect it where it's hiding right now. Or, just like that, it'll leave and I will take it on with my other team members. But I stopped right before that button. I know there's a great impulse for gamers especially to press any big button that they see. But if you did that, remember, it works diagonally. So if you did that, your members would be attacked and feel the full brunt of the electrical attack because there's only two members left in Ginchio's army. I know, this would print pretty damn smoothly. We haven't lost one warrior yet. But if you carelessly shock your own members when it's not necessary and you've already gained good control of the battlefield... Gah, I never thought you'd let them get the better of you, Shinx! Then you don't need to worry about that. In fact, I think we are just about done here. The only thing that irritates me the most is that those presents are inaccessible to us because we don't have any electrical Pokémon. Too bad I didn't bring Carnivine around, but after getting that Trico, I'm really eager to see it evolve, so I wanted to get it some good kingdom capturing experience. And now the castle is ours! Alright, nice, ex nice experience, link boosts for everyone. And two out of five, not bad. And only one electric type, but hey. At least Pichu eventually turns into a Raichu. That was a fine contest. Violite Castle is yours to use as you see fit. You don't mind? No. My conscience is clear. The battle did not bring shame upon our family name. We protected our honor. That is all that matters. Yeah, you protected your honor, but lost your home. Now you're homeless. Does that matter at all? Oh well. Let's rec recruit our new warriors here and call it an episode, guys. In the next episode, we will probably be going on a training roundabout time with our new electrical force. So we'll have to be going back to the Kingdom of Fontaine for some experience boosting. Yeah, but I'm not too comfortable going after a uh, pugilist kingdom yet. I want to figure out how you can link with other Pokemon. We did it, Lord Dio Gen Z. Hey! You! We keep bumping into you. Looks like you've captured a lot of kingdoms now. Surely you're not trying to run them all by yourself. <gasps> how did you know I was? But Lord Dio Gen Z is the warlord leader of our army. Being a warlord is about more than just doing battle, you know. Now you can choose what goes on in your kingdom's absence, or instead 
you can delegate control of a kingdom to a warrior. It's got to be training! It's got to be training! That's the best way to spend your time! Tch. I think searching for warriors and Pokemon is more important. Much more important. Ha! You never think ahead. You won't get anywhere unless you develop those skills. But it's up to you, of course. Just be sure to give it some thought. Okay, so apparently... We can delegate someone to run our kingdoms that we are not at. That's interesting. We will look into that in the next episode because I'm curious about this delegation. Never did it in Nobunaga's Ambition. Wondering how it's going to change the game in Conquest. See you guys then. What? Oh my goodness! Hey, it's you again! Never thought I'd see you here. What do you think of this kingdom then? Well, it's quite far from Aurora, and there are lots of Pokemon here we've never seen before. There sure are. You should link with some of them, and make them your partners. <gasps> but we have Eevee and Jigglypuff. Sure, but don't you want to try getting to know some other Pokemon? Everyone's got their own perfect partner, by which I mean a Pokemon with whom you can form a perfect link. Really? Just remember that the number of Pokemon partners you can have depends on your capacity. Anyway, I recommend you give some other Pokemon a try while you're here.